Hi there folks, today I'm launching a new page on my blog to enable you to browse the different videos that I've created. I've now got over 150 different videos and for each of those videos I have an interactive 10 question multiple choice quiz. And off the back of completing that quiz, you can get yourself a lovely certificate. So we're going to have a look at that today. So if you jump across onto damobard365.com forward slash YouTube, you'll be presented with the following site. And if I have an interest in connectors on Copilot, for instance, you can see I've got two videos that relate to that capability. Either one where I directly create a connector for Ticketmaster, showing you how you can get events from that API, or another where I create a connector and then bring that into a flow, into an app, and also finally into an agent. It's a films database connector. Again, very interesting if this concept is brand new to you. But the great thing about this is, not only can you play the video directly from those cards like so, you can also take a quiz. And if I take the quiz on the recent video I've done on Ticketmaster, you'll see I can go through and easily choose the answers to those questions. So what's the main advantage of using a custom connector in the Power Platform? It allows you to connect to APIs that aren't supported by default connectors. Now, if you're not sure about the answer to that question, you can simply click on watch this part and it will conveniently pop open the video in the spot where you'll find that answer. Now I'm gonna work my way through this quiz choosing those answers as I go. And as we work our way through the content, it's worth pointing out some slight typos. For instance, co-pilot. Well, it was a language model. All of these questionnaires are generated using AI, a prompt, and the transcripts from my actual videos. So I'm gonna show you how I can use VS Code using GitHub Copilot to make changes to that code, and then we'll make sure we get this page up to date and remove all those co-pilots from my quizzes. So why is it important to be in the same environment in Copilot Studio as when you created the custom connector? Well, clearly it's to ensure the custom connector is available to use within the agent. Generative orchestration, it's the language model that orchestrates the topics and actions. The should prompt user will continuously prompt the user for a value until one is provided, albeit it does have a retry value, I think by default of three. If you're not sure about what ISO 8601 is, make sure you search my videos for dates. I have a good video on, on dates there. Why might you want to disable general knowledge? We're specifically ensuring that the agent only uses data from the custom connector. And then finally, what can we see on the activity tab? It's the plan that's been put together by the agent. So as I submit that, you'll see that I get a score, currently 100%, 10 out of 10. You can optionally put your name on there. And then when you download the certificate, a PDF is generated. It gives you the ability to click back into that video if you want to watch it back in the future. But also you have your score, you have your personalized certificate with your name, and then you have those quiz answers in case you ever want to refer back and refresh your memory. Now back over on the site, you have the ability to also share a tweet. Is anyone still using Twitter? Maybe let me know. I could add in additional capability to share on other platforms. You also have the ability to copy the quiz link like so. And with that link, if you paste that into your browser, you'll see that it includes a video ID in the address. And when you click on that, that takes you straight back into that exact video. Why do you need that? Well, I encourage you to share this with your colleagues and your friends and get them to take the same quiz. See how they did? allow them to get a certificate, add it to your CPD. Let me know what you've learned from my videos. Of course, at any point, if you want to watch that whole video, you can play the video, or if you want to go back and browse, back to all videos, and then we can go and search for that dates video that I mentioned. And you can see here, effortly format dates and get specific days, a Power Automate solution. That's another one that's worth looking at if you want to learn about dates, how to exclude weekends, lots of learning in that video. So I promised I was gonna jump across onto VS Code and make changes to the co-pilot. Now it just so happens that I have the quizzes JSON file that I've generated that contains all those quizzes. The easiest option, if I'm completely entirely honest, is probably to do Control H, search for a co-pilot like so, and replace it with co-pilot and there are 20 instances, and I can replace all. So actually, not really a great example of how to use 
GitHub Copilot in agent mode. However, one of the things I could add is a round of applause if you score seven out of 10 or higher. So in order to do this, I'm actually going to use a platform known as 11 Labs. So 11 Labs is something I've used in previous videos. And if I jump back onto that new search and search for 11 Labs, unfortunately I don't have it in the description. I'm going to go and add that. But if you search for PowerPoint, you'll see these lovely two videos. This is well before we had Copilot as we know it. I generate a PowerPoint presentation, but also a transcript and text to speech. So if you want to hear 11 Labs version of me, you can watch this very short three minute video on the left hand side. Or if you want to see how I built that process, watch the video on the right hand side here. And so one of the cool features of 11 Labs is the ability to create sound effects. And I'll include a link in the description. But if I asked for a drum roll followed by a rapturous round of applause and hit generate, if I hit the play button, that's very Daily Thompson-esque for those that uh, remember the 90s. quite like the third version that we have here. So I'm going to download that. I can bring that sample across into my YouTube video browser data. And then I can ask my agent, can you please play the provided audio file when someone achieves seven out of 10 or more in their quiz? You'll see that GitHub Copilot will scan through my code. And then if I want to test this locally, I can run an instance of this page. So I'm now running it locally. I'll choose my video from last week about generating documents from an agent. I better make sure I get 70%. And so as I select the last question, I'll hit submit. hundred percent and our audio file played. If I jump back to all videos, I'll take the quiz for my next one. I'm just going to randomly select a couple of different questions. We'll skip some of the others as we go. I'll submit it. And unfortunately I got zero correct and the audio file wasn't played. Now, one of the other great things about this is as you scroll back up, you can see the correct answers. Either you got the right answer or you got the wrong answer, or in fact, didn't even make a choice. But if you want to take that quiz again, remember you can try the quiz again and don't go try remembering the order of those questions. They will scramble each time and you'll get a unique order of those answers for each time you try the quiz. So do let me know in the comments, do share what you've learned. And if there's a feature or capability you'd like me to add to this new quiz capability on my blog, drop me a note and I'll see what I can do. Thanks very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you again sometime soon. Cheers.